Hey everybody. Welcome to my channel, I just read it. Today I have some stories that I hope you enjoy. If you like this channel and the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and click on the notification button. Thanks. I appreciate every one of you. Space Monkey Scrum posted. She cheats with you, she cheats on you, the story of my serial cheating ex. This is not suitable for work, so wear headphones if you can. So this story includes four different boyfriends, three of them which she cheated on and only got caught when she got involved with the fourth. I will be numbering the guys from one to four, with me being two, by order of relationship. She was my high school best friend, we were very close, and everyone always thought we were together, I had feelings for her but never had the balls to confront her. She ends up dating one of our closer friends, boyfriend one, by the start of senior year. One year down their relationship I finally confront her with my feelings, she says she shares feelings too but thought I was not interested and that's why she got with boyfriend one. We decide to put it to the side out of respect of boyfriend one, especially that she said she's no longer happy with him, everyone could easily tell, and they're breaking up soon. Surely enough a couple of weeks down the line we have our first kiss, while they're still dating. Mine knew this was our first ever kiss for the both of us. We get to make out bases while they're still together, and a couple of months down the line boyfriend one breaks up with her, indirectly due to me since we went to the same college and were extremely close so my relationship with her strained theirs. We spend the next five months fooling around but not actually getting together, until six months later we're finally official. We had a great start to our relationship, but then things start getting worse, I was not aware of that, but I was made aware after our breakup. She no longer was invested in the relationship in any way, and was longing for a breakup. However, being very close best friends, she was scared that by breaking up with me she'd also lose me as a friend. At that time boyfriend 3 resurfaces in our lives. He was also a part of our high school clique but has gone to school abroad, so we had lost contact for a while, but now he was back sort of. They start getting extremely close, and I start getting suspicious, but when I confront her, she goes all defensive and says why do you not trust me, have I ever given you reason to not trust me, etc. Now I loved her from the bottom of my heart, I believed she was my soulmate, pathetic, so at the risk of her getting upset I instantly shut up about it. Ten months pass from my suspicions and our relationship gets rocky and she eventually breaks up with me. I was so hung up on her that even when she broke up with me, we remained best of best friends, pathetic. A few months after our breakup, me and her girl best friend and a bunch of other people travel abroad for school, leaving her best friend spot open. She gets close to boyfriend 4, and even has the nerve to introduce boyfriend 3 and boyfriend 4 to each other, who were complete strangers. But birds of a feather, right? Boyfriend 3 and boyfriend 4 quickly become close friends and are constantly online gaming together and shit. I'll skip a year plus ahead. During that year, me and her girl best friend, supposedly the two people closest to her, keep asking if her and boyfriend 3 got together, and she says no, the feelings are there but she doesn't think the relationship would last, he lives abroad. Later, I start asking her if there's anything going between her and boyfriend 4, since I got the feeling, he was falling for her, and she also says no. So anyway, come summer. Boyfriend 3 is back home for a vacation and we all head to a beach retreat, that's her, girl best friend, me, boyfriend 3, boyfriend 4 and a bunch of other friends. Again, she has the nerve to cram boyfriend 3 and boyfriend 4 in the same car for a 4 hour road trip, and even in the same hotel room. By then she had been in a secret relationship with boyfriend 3 for 2 and a half years, 10 months before we broke up. Exactly by the time I got suspicious and she gaslit me for it, but their relationship was in a bit of a rocky place, and he was also getting suspicious, she wakes up, kisses boyfriend 3 good morning, we all head to the beach, then she comes up with an excuse and goes back to the hotel room with boyfriend 4, where they have their first kiss, which she initiates, with girl best friend unknowingly taking a shower in the same room. It doesn't stop there, she texts him, boyfriend 4 about their first kiss and how much she enjoyed it and stuff. 
Next day we're in the water and boyfriend 3 is injured and can't get in. He goes through her phone, with her permission, only to find her and boyfriend 4 texting about their first kiss, and all hell breaks loose. For the whole day she's stuck in her room, with boyfriend 3, boyfriend 4 and girl best friend, her roommate, going in and out and arguing and the rest of the trip have no idea what's going on. I started understanding since I knew both had feelings for her. The next day she comes to me, supposedly her best friend, crying, saying that she fucked up, that she was dating boyfriend 3 a couple of months after we broke up, which was another lie, but was hiding it from me so I don't think she moved on from our relationship too fast, and that she also kissed boyfriend 4. I comfort her, tell her it's going to be okay that I am obviously upset that she lied straight to my face about both boyfriend 3 and boyfriend 4, but I'm her best friend and I'm here for her and some sappy shit. We go out that day all of us, I get shit face drunk, and right as I am about to go to bed, boyfriend 4, who is also a very close friend of mine, tells me he would like to talk to me. We go sit by the beach for 4 hours where he tells me everything he knows, and boyfriend 3 also joins in and says he is very sorry and he never meant to disrespect me and that she manipulated him into it, she never comes clean about anything, a couple of weeks later she tries to contact me on social media to explain herself but I turn her down. That's how she lost the 4 people closest to her in one single weekend girl best friend couldn't handle the extent of bullshit she's been feeding her for the past years, and boyfriend 4 didn't know she was with boyfriend 3 so in some ways she made him unknowingly a part of her cheating. Story number 2. Rod underscore Amadeus posted. Compulsive cheater. This is not suitable for work so use headphones if possible. Hi. I know I'll be getting a lot of hate but anyway. I am a cheater, I have cheated a few times in my life and it has almost costed my marriage. I don't know why my wife keeps up with me, maybe she is masochist. I had promised that I would change, and I have been able to avoid physical contact with other women for a long time. Now I'm 41 and I don't feel the physical need to cheat, but I feel the need to flirt and chat with other women. I used to chat a lot with an ex-girlfriend, chat about everything, we had great connection, she is married and live in another country but we always kept contact and chat about many things, and sometimes we flirt as well. In my mind I always thought that there is nothing wrong because we will never see each other again. My wife took my phone when I was sleeping, discovered the chat and got really pissed off, understandable. What pisses me off with myself is, why I can't feel remorse. I know I'm an asshole, but sorry, I just can't feel remorse. How can I feel remorse when I cheated years ago? it was the best sensation in the world. Now I'm taking therapy with my wife, again, with a new therapist. But I'm pessimistic. I think cheating is really rooted within me. I wonder at what moment I became what I was. I used to be loyal. The truth is that I always had great desire for women, I love them. When I got married at 23, people told me that after a few years those desires would go away but after 18 years, they never did. There is another thing, my wife comes from a destroyed home from physical abuse from her drunk father, and she could be very aggressive. She used to hit the kids, and we suffered a lot during the first seven years of marriage because of that. I mean, what kind of person hits a three years old girl and breaks her nose? What kind of person slaps a four months baby until they piss on themselves, because of those things, even her family was against her and she had to take a lot of therapy and she totally changed, I admire her for that. But deep on myself I think I can't forgive her. I'm not saying this as an excuse, but after that I have never been able to connect with her again, and therefore I always filled out that gap with chatting and texting with other girls. Lame excuse? Probably, maybe I'm just a sick person. The therapist says I must learn to forgive and gives a lot of mental takes to do that, but honestly, I'm pessimistic. To make things worse I suffer OCD with intrusive thoughts, so I always have a side of me throwing me hateful images and feelings towards her. Anyway, I just wanted to express myself. Let's see how it goes. Thanks, if you read the entire post. There were no comments on this post, so I decided to give my take. Op, you've already taken the first step and admitted you have a problem. 
you are in therapy and that's a good second step. As for not feeling remorse, that's not uncommon. There are a lot of people out there with sociopathic tendencies, but that doesn't make them violent or unable to function in society. It just means they weren't born with the ability to feel guilt. If you can't control yourself, unfortunately your best bet is to divorce your wife. It will be better for you both in the long run. The trust is broken and more than likely will never come back. I feel bad for you and your wife for the things you're both going through, but at least you want to change and that's something that gives you hope.